The plaintiff is your former girlfriend. You have a child together. Child is how old? He's eight. Is that your only child? No, I have two other children. How old are the two others that you have? I'm uh, 12 and uh, eight, 19. Did you say about 12? No, he's 12 years old, and I have a 19-year-old daughter. Do they live with you? My son does, yeah, the 12-year-old. Your 19-year-old daughter is on her own? Yeah. Yes, that would be yes. Okay, so you have an eight-year-old, and that's your youngest child. Yeah. And did you and Miss Burke live together at any point? No. But you enjoy visitation with him? Yes. Is that court-ordered visitation? No. It's visitation that you arranged with each other? Yes. And when do you have the visitation? Every, just every once in a while. We're going through court right now, so it'll probably be a regular visitation. A regular visit, okay. Right. Well, October 2nd of last year, an incident occurred. Tell me about what was the schedule for visitation on that date? She was supposed to drop him off with me for two hours, and so... What two, time? I can't remember the exact, exact well, time. Well, this is important. You know you're coming here today, because if you don't remember, I'm going to get the information from her. Oh, okay. She was supposed to drop him off. Right. Is there any reason why you weren't picking him up? No, she was dropping him off and I was taking him back. Do you live far away from each other? About 30 minutes apart. Okay, so that was the arrangement. She was going to drop him off. Right. And you don't remember the time? I don't remember exact time. Do you remember the time? Our arranged time didn't work out for either one of us. So he told me to give him a call before we left, and that's what I did. I just called him and told him that we were going to be on our way. That was about 4.30. Do you remember that conversation? Yes. Now you do. Okay, so now I'm coming back to you. So she said we're on our way, and it takes about 30 minutes to get there, which means that she should have gotten to your house at about 5 o'clock. Right. Did she get there at 5 o'clock? Yeah. And what were you going to do with your son for those two hours? We just went and hung out, and I was going to take him to the park, but he wanted to shoot. I took him to shoot a BB gun. Did you discuss that with his mother? No, I sent her pictures of it, so she knew what was going on. <laughs> so you sent her a picture of him shooting a BB gun? Yeah. And where was your 12-year-old at the time? He was right beside him shooting a BB gun. And then you decided to take him home? Yes. But you decided to take him home a little early? No. No. No? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I'm sure. Well, you say in your answer, I know I got that from someplace, she said, when I arrived, she was upset that I dropped him off early. No, That's no, what you said in your well, she answer. Said it was, she said it was early, but it was, it was way later. What time did you drop him off? I, I don't know. It was nighttime. I'm, uh, I don't know exact time. I guess well, you can get you that off the place. Well, you I'm going to go back to her. What time did you get a call that he was bringing him back? Oh, he was contacting me, and he, after six, already telling me it was time to... Oh that I needed to get home, that we were... It wasn't no, no, until that, about 7.30. That's very confusing to me, what you just okay. said. It, it, that was a mumble. What time did he call you to say he was leaving? Or he was text, text messaging me uh, from 6.30 on. So from 6.30, and he had visitation for two hours. I told him I would come pick him up at about quarter till nine. Oh, so when you dropped him off, you said to him, I'll pick him and up. And I text messaged him also. No, no, don't text... What was your initial arrangement? You see, what he says is you dropped him off so that he could have a visit, but you really wanted to drop him off so that you would have some free time yeah. to have a date or whatever, which, Mr. Kelsey, yes. is okay. Yeah, that's okay. Right? That's okay. Right. You're not together anymore. She can no. have a date, and you right. can be a babysitter. Right. Right. Yeah. Now, so I'm going to come back to you. Did you get the message from her, either verbally or by text, that she would pick him up at about a quarter to nine? Yeah. To, yeah. Yes. But I already had my day planned, and I had things to do, and I was supposed no, to be... just some. a second. What did you have to do? Well, the agreement... Between... Not the agreement. What did you have to do? What, I was helping somebody move that night. That ain't Who? a good... Huh? Huh, it's not an answer. I didn't, what was the name of the person that you were oh, going to help to move that is, night? Is it, Bob what? I'm a... Uh, Bob what? Get on your phone and give me the number. Get okay. on your phone and give me this Bob's number. Because I'm going to call Bob. And you know what I don't like? What's that? I don't like to get up from this bench <laughs> and go back to the phone. If Bob isn't going to tell me, I don't know what he's talking about moving. I haven't moved. You want me to call him, you said? No, I'm going to call him. Oh, okay. You Look at call. me, Mr. Kelsey. And it was Mr. Bob. Look at me. Yes. Say, I'm sorry, that was the wrong night. I wasn't helping anybody move. I'm, I'm sorry, that was the Say wrong night. Say to me, I'm sorry, that was the wrong night. I wasn't helping anybody move. Why am I saying that? Why, because... Okay, I'm sorry, that was the wrong night. I wasn't right. helping anybody move. Okay. What, what, so I don't understand now why I'm saying she that. Was, hey, I'm way ahead of you. I know exactly what it's all okay. about. Put your phone away. Put it down now. 